Alright, Shalom, another GMS on the go, back with another lesson. First and foremost, giving all praise, all honor, all glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakakodash. Next, double honors to the head apostles and elders of Great Millstone, the ones that taught me the 100% truth according to the Bible. Peace and blessings to, and safety to all you sincere Akims, man, pushing this Bible week in and week out to the best of your ability, staying in order. You know, regardless of people here for a bit. Just a short GMS on the go before work. The title of this is called, Don't Despise the Word. What word am I talking about? The words of the Bible. When you're starting off with the head apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, when you see us out there on the highways and byways preaching this Bible to the best of our ability, doing sit-down lessons, you Negroes, Latinos, and Native American Indians, don't despise the word. And the word despise means to hate. Don't hate when we tell you, according to the Bible, that you can't eat pork. You can't celebrate Christmas. You can't mess with Tyrone's baby mama down the street. Okay? You can't smoke weed. You can't smoke cigarettes. Don't despise that. Don't hate the word when it comes out, man. You can't get tattoos. You can't get bald heads. You know? Shrimp, crab, lobster. You can't eat those abominable foods. Don't get mad. Don't despise the word when it comes out, man. It's a penalty for that, okay? And, you, and the majority of you Negroes, Latinos, or Native American Indians, you're going to learn the hard way, man. You know, that's why these videos that we do are only for the elect of the nation of Israel. Take heed. Don't despise the word. Proverbs chapter 13, verse 13. Whoso despises the word, what word is it talking about? Is it talking about the Quran? Is it talking about the book of the dead? The Egyptology book of the dead? You know, is it talking about the Book of the Mormons? No, man, it's talking about this King James Version Bible, man. It's 1611, okay? Proverbs chapter 13, verse 13. Whoso despiseth the word shall be destroyed. If you hate to hear the knowledge, wisdom, understanding of the scriptures coming out of this Bible, you Negroes, Latinos, and Native American Indians, do you know you will be destroyed? It didn't say you're going to get a whipping. It didn't say you're going to get a slap on the wrist. You know? It said you're going to be destroyed, man. And you have Bashem Yahushua got infinite ways to destroy you, man. This is the same power that flooded the earth, man. Okay? See, the, the so-called Negroes that sent Chicago, they despise the words of you have Bashem Yahushua. That's why he, he killed them, man. You know, 1 Samuel chapter 2, verse 6. I, the Lord, killeth and make it for life. Amos 3 and 6. Shall there be evil in a city and the Lord have not done it? You despise these words. You need to be destroyed. You can't celebrate Christmas. Our people get mad. Can't celebrate Easter. Or none of the customs of the heathens. Our people get mad. They start hating the words of the Lord, man. And then they want to fight. They want to talk junk. So the so-called white man, he despised the words of the Heavenly Father and the Son too. That's why they want us off the streets. But he's going to be destroyed soon come. Proverbs chapter 13, verse 13, once again. Whoso despiseth the word shall be destroyed. But he that feareth the commandment shall be rewarded, man. So the Negroes, Latinos, and Native American is to take heed to the words that you have by Shemel Shai. Then look, you're going to be rewarded, man. You're going to get a, you're gonna get to live. You know? That's a reward for your ass right there. The God of the Bible letting you live. For not despising the word. Proverbs chapter 15 verse 32. He that refuses instructions. The knowledge, wisdom, understanding of the scripture. Those instructions. Look. Despises his own soul. So the ones of our people that hate to hear these words come out. Do you know they hate their own self man? They despise their own soul. They, they pretty much. The scripture is basically saying. They hate it the day was even created man. You despise your own soul. You hate yourself man. When you don't want to hear these words. Proverbs chapter 15 verse 32. He that refuses instructions. And that word instruction goes back to warning. He that refuses the warning. That we bring out through the spirit of Yahweh by Shem Shai. Despises his own soul. But he that heareth reproof. Meaning correction. Getteth understanding man. So when we out there on the highways and byways correcting our people, the ones that take heed to, to the correction, 
is going to get understanding, man. And, and like the scriptures say, let me get it. The knowledge, wisdom, understanding of the scriptures is what's going to keep you stable, man. This is Isaiah chapter 33, verse 6. And wisdom and knowledge of the Bible shall be the stability of thy times. This word is what's going to keep you stable when all hell break loose, man. But the ones of our people that despise the words of Yahweh, Bashim Yahushai, they hate to hear the words of Yahweh, Bashim Yahushai. How are you going to be stable when all hell break loose? When this word is what's going to keep you stable, the knowledge, wisdom, understanding of the scriptures is what's going to keep you stable, man. So what's going to happen if you don't take heed to the words, the knowledge, wisdom, understanding of the scriptures, man? You're going to bug the hell out. Once again, Isaiah chapter 33, verse 6. And wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy time. Not your plaque on the wall, you know, not your high school diploma, you know, not your four or five jobs, not that big giant house, that car, or that big giant bank account. That's, the, that's not going to keep you stable, man, okay? The knowledge, wisdom, and understanding of the scriptures is what's going to keep you stable, right? And the strength and strength of salvation. The fear of the Lord is his treasure. And that's how you know the majority of our people, they hoop and holler, screaming, I love the Lord, I love the Lord. Do you fear the Lord? That's the question. Do you fear the Lord, man? Okay? Proverbs chapter 1, verse 7. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge. See, the fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge, man. Okay? And without the knowledge, wisdom, understanding of the scriptures, you're going to bug the hell out. You're not going to be stable. You're not stable now. How much more when all hell break loose? You most definitely ain't going to be stable, man. You Negroes, Latinos, and Native American Indians, man. Look, but fools, fools, blockheads, meatballs, imbeciles, jackasses, despise the word, man. Despise wisdom and instructions. When the scriptures just told you the knowledge, wisdom, understanding of the scriptures is what's going to keep you stable. So why would you despise it, man? When the knowledge of the Bible is going to get you out of those rough times, man. You know what I'm saying? It's going to help you make it, make it through the storm. Why would you despise it, man? You jackass. The scriptures tell you not to get tattoos. Our people get more tattoos. Okay? The scriptures tell our women to dress in modest apparel. They dress even more sluttier. You Israelites, y'all gonna learn a hard lesson, man. A hard, valuable lesson, man, in the days to come, man. And the God of the Bible is gonna mock when your fear come, man. He's gonna mock you. But fools despise wisdom and instruction. We give them warning from the God of the Bible, week in and week out, and they despise it, man. They hate it, man. They hate for us to warn them, man. But guess what? We still gotta keep warning you. Ezekiel chapter 3 verse 17 Son of man, I have made thee a watchman until the house of Israel Which consists of you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native American Indians Therefore, hear the word at my mouth and give them warning from me So our people despise the warning, they hate the God of the Bible warning them, man You know, they despise the words that you have, but you never shot when the watchmen, when they, as soon as they see the watchmen, oh, there they go again. Don't they got something else better to do? Get a job. Get a life. It's going to come a day where you're going to be, you're going to be crying your tail off. Wishing that you could see a servant of the Lord preaching this Bible, man. It's going to come a day very soon where you're going to cry. You're going to cry your ass off, man. You're going to be breaking your neck just to hear the servant of the Lord preach this Bible, man. Oh, yeah. It's coming. Oh, yeah. 2 Ezra chapter 7, verse 20. For there be many that perish. There be many that perish in this life. In the times that we're living in right about now, a whole lot of people going to perish. A whole lot of you Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, you're going to die your ass off soon come, man. I mean, you're going to die a horrible death, man. 2 Ezra chapter 7, verse 20. For there be many that perish in this life because they despise the law 
of the Most High. Because the pastor said the law is done away with. When the Lord said, don't think that I'm coming to do away with my law, man. I ain't coming to do away with the law. Don't even think it, man. Don't let nobody fool you into telling you that, man. 2 Ezra chapter 7 verse 20. For there be many that perish in this life. Because they despise the law of the Most High that is set before them, man. So just know, the majority of you Negroes, Latinos, and Native American Indians, you about to die a horrible death, man. You hate the words that you have about Shemiah Shah, therefore, what, what reason is it for you to live, man? Okay? Right? What's going to happen? To you for despising the words you have about Shemiah Shah. You're going to be destroyed, man. It'll behoove you Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans to repent from your wicked ways, man. Don't despise the word, man. And Lord willing, my brothers are edified, man. The videos that we do are only for the elect of the nation of Israel, which consists of you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native American Indians. When you despise the words that you have by Shemiah Shah, it comes with consequences, man. Okay? Choose wisely. Giving all praise, all honor, all glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rekakwadash. Next, double honors to the head apostles and elders of Great Millstone, the ones that taught me the 100% truth according to the Bible. Peace and blessings and safety to the sincere Akims, the elect brothers scattered throughout the four corners of the earth, just preaching Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, regardless of people here forbear. Alright? Don't despise the word. Shalom.